So context queue has a capability to take any source of information you have in the first place. So you would connect context queue with your documentation or if you have a demo videos of your existing product, which is Oracle or your inter internal applications, you will just upload any document you have. Along with that, it can connect with the additional source of information such as Jira, the confluence, where it pulled the existing user stories or your requirement. That starts as a learning or knowledge, like creating the knowledge base about your application, like what is your application. If there are any missing information or AI has a confusion, AI will ask you the question. So in this case, AI will not assume anything. I will go through that process, ask you that, hey, what is missing? But on top of that, it will connect with your GitHub source code, or it will connect with your production logs, uh, any APM tool you are using. So basically, it connects with all the sources. So it will take any ready to use information available as of today to build the knowledge base. And it is a, it behaves like a setting up the ground stage. Once it AI gets that learns about your application, then AI agents goes to those application and crawls through that application and tries to understand even further by visually seeing that so there are different types of ai models that tries to understand by looking at your screen and following that different user journeys and as they learn more they will go and crawl other pages as well and that's how it builds the knowledge but at the same time there are any new development going on like new feature is being added then any new requirement comes up it looks at your current knowledge base and sees is this feature already exists do we have a coverage for that or not if not then add it if it is there then what are the impactful tests to run it and then constantly multi-agent systems talk to each other like human talks to do we have a coverage is it a duplicate should we have a negative and positive test case? What could be the boundary values? And based on that, it continuously builds those test cases for you and automates and provides you the report. So this is how it works.